Hello, Trinity friends, and happy Wednesday in the Lord with Miss Alyssa. So today we're going to be looking at Hebrews 4.12 and then 2 Timothy uh, chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. And so you guys could talk about, or ask your kiddos, um, do you know what a double-edged sword is? So it's a sword that cuts both ways. And so the Romans used these weapons in battle. And the writer of Hebrews reminds us that God's word is alive and that it's constantly moving and active. We can learn from it even today. And when we read God's word, it has the power to show us what's really inside of us. And um, it can help us point out any wrong thoughts or any wrong attitudes. And when you spend time reading God's word, um, it can help you see the things that we need to change within ourselves. And and kind of going off of this is the Second Timothy um, chapter three verse, and and this is where Second uh, Timothy is writing to missionary Paul, written by the missionary Paul to his student Timothy. And Timothy was leading a group of Jesus followers, and Paul wrote to him and encouraging to teach them to follow God. And when we read God's word, um, we can answer a few questions to ourselves. What, what's true? What does God say I should do? What does God's word say I shouldn't do? And we can thank God for giving us the Bible to show us the truth about God and, and help correct and perfectly convict our hearts of areas in which we can uh, be better living and breathing examples of who God is and his love. And a great way to kind of tie this all in together is to grab a piece of cardboard, some foil and maybe a permanent marker. And what you're going to want to do is to take it and cut the cardboard into like a kind of sword. And you're going to cover the sword in the foil. And you're going to write Hebrews 4.12 on one side of the sword. And you can make different shapes or impressions. Kiddos might go crazy pants uh, making their own variations of the sword. And this is a great reminder that... Um, that God's word is alive and active and that um, just as iron sharpens iron, we can sharpen one another and that we can um, ourselves as, as adults um, practice hearing from God. And then, of course, teaching the tiny humans in our lives um, to be actively and involved in, in reading the word of God and, and being intentional about listening to God in whatever way he speaks to us. So I pray that, pray that this is um, an encouraging and helping you minister to the tiny humans that God has entrusted you with. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.